Scotland, Louis Lowe, and thank you for joining us. My name is Dickie Chang. We are here at location at the beautiful Kauai Marriott Resort and Beach Club. Directly behind me is Kamala O Kalapaki on the outskirts of the Roy Tabora Gallery. And with me is one of our featured artists for the evening, Coco Angel. Coco, uh, very, very exciting, maybe perhaps a life, once in a lifetime uh, evening for yourself. Absolutely. I can't even believe it's real, honestly. It's two years in the making, and today is the day. Well, we've been working on an oil painting for two years. Um, my first oil painting, Roy's been teaching me for two years, and we made this masterpiece, and it's very exciting. It's getting unveiled in about a half an hour. So, uh, what is your, technically, what is your background? You're from California. You've been here more than half of your life. Uh, people know of you as, uh, is it correct? Like a watercolor? Yes. Uh, I'm, of... For 30 years, I'm a watercolor artist. I moved here in 1987. I love Kauai. I raised my children here. Um, always a watercolor artist. And so um, now I'm learning oil. And now I have a whole display of watercolors and oil. So it's very exciting. So watercolor is actually the hardest medium because there's no white paint. So you have to plan everything so specifically, um, map it all out to leave the paper showing through as white. Um, oil painting is so forgiving because if you make a mistake, you wait for one day and it dries and then you can fix it. Watercolors, you have to be so strong and throw them away when you ruin them. So, but I learned that for 30 years, so that's my comfort zone. Oil painting is a bit uh, challenging, but I'm getting it. But <laughs> Um, as you probably had mentioned, and what I'd like to just say for the benefit of the viewing audience, uh, walking through the gallery, a spectacular gallery. Again, we're here on location at the Kauai Marriott Resort and Beach Club. But you've done Bird of Paradise, you've done Torch Gingers, you've done Plumerias, you've done Coconuts. I mean, some of the fronds that I've seen that you painted, you know, you have that little uh, brown, you know, like the discoloration because the leaves are getting... I mean, like attention to detail and what have you. What inspires you? Um, nature. Nature inspires me every day. It's the most beautiful place in the world where we live. We're so lucky. I paint all Hawaiiana, um, mostly flowers because I'm just so attracted to them. Um, I love the ones that smell good, but the ones that don't smell good are mostly the beautiful ones. So I'm just attracted to everything here on this island. What is that flower that is most attractive to you that does not really have a scent? Orchids. There's like five million different kinds of orchids and I just want to paint every single one of them. I think I've only painted about a hundred different types now, but um, I'm going to paint all of them. And it's crazy, crazy when They're you see them. Beautiful. It's crazy when you see them uh, blooming on hapu, you know, uh, the ferns in a hot house or in nature. Uh, the colors are just vibrant and pretty much every orchid is different. Everyone and the ones that I like to paint the most are the very tiny ones because people don't usually notice them And I love to make them large so that you have to look at them because they're so beautiful And that pretty much a lot of them just makes up your whole painting. Yes <laughs> So um, uh, Coco Angel we are here because you created a piece and you guys came to this Conclusion yourself and your buddy Roy that you've met for many many years uh, an incredible nice guy and an artist but it took you two years, and there were things about that you folks were both discussing. The East meets the West, or the mess, uh, West uh, meets the East. I mean, yeah. what was that all about? Okay, so um, Roy's Eastern. I'm Western. Um, he lives east of my island because he lives on Oahu. Um, all the items in the painting, it's a big still life. We went, to, um, we went for still life to be out of our comfort zones because I paint mostly flowers, he paints mostly seascapes. So we decided, like, what's something totally hard we could do? <laughs> a still life. And so then we put all our, all our you know, tokens. They're all important tokens to us. Um, my one vase in the front of the painting is from my best friend, and she gave it to me. 30 years ago and it made it through Hurricane Niki <laughs> like it never even chipped and so it's in the front of the painting. Uh, then a Buddha I got was one of my first um, trades. I, uh, somebody paid me for a painting with this cool old antique Buddha and that's in the painting as well. Roy has his special things in the painting. He has a bonsai garden in there because he, he makes bonsai gardens at his house. So uh, everything in there is special and cool to us and it all represents Hawaii. So how was the collaboration? How how did you guys say, okay, well, I'll do the vase, I'll do the Buddha, I'll oh. do the diamond head, I'll do the, uh, you know, the uh, rainbow. I mean, how did, how did you guys collaborate to, um, you know, maybe agree to disagree or 
there was never a disagreement, which is so trippy, but even the even down to the flowers that we chose for the painting, we we both said that one, that one, that one. It was just so easy. The tablecloth, same thing. There was a store of tablecloths and we just both went to the same one. Um, the painting, because he was instructing me, um, he we we touched every single thing in the whole painting we did all together it wasn't him doing something me doing something we did everything together we started with even just the photoing of the thing to the drawing to the first coat all the way to the end he uh, i must say is a master and so when it came down to the final strokes on the painting making it glow and making it go boom roy that's all roy <laughs> Well, I mean, I just remember about a year ago going, it's never going to be done and crying and thinking it will never, ever be finished. And now I'm still kind of uh, in shock that it is finished. I can't wait to see it unveiled because it's actually finished. <laughs> it's going to be in a few short minutes that it's going to be unveiled. Uh, tell me a little bit about your relationship. Um, you work with so many uh, very, very uh, famous, very, very well-known artists. But in this case, you're a personal uh, friend of uh, Roy uh, Gonzalez Tabora. I mean, if we never knew who he was, how would you describe him? Um, well, he's, I call him Yoda. <laughs> he's kind of Yoda. He's just so evolved. But um, Roy, I met Roy when I was 24 years old. When I first moved to Kauai, um, I went to his art show at Khan Galleries. Marty Khan is the greatest guy, and he started Roy. And I went to the gallery, and I saw Roy's paintings, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be an artist. And I always had wanted to, but I didn't take it seriously. I was a broker, and I, and I hated being a broker. But anyways, Roy said, go home and do the work, and you can do it. And I was like, I'm going to be in the gallery with you. And within like two years, I was in Khan Galleries with Roy Tabara. We were both showing and having shows together, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is really happening. Happening. Then now all these years later he owns all these galleries and I'm in them and now we've done this amazing painting together. We've been dear 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 friends since that moment. Um, yeah it's been great. It's kind of a little sad because um, I'm gonna miss going over there. I've been going over there for two years. We paint everything in his Pupukea studio and it's this massive killer studio and I go over and I'm always just like, wow, I can't believe I'm in this studio. <laughs> and he has this little loft above it and I sleep up there and then I just paint 15 hours a day with him. And I'm going to kind of miss that, but maybe we'll do another one. Who knows? And Coco, we just want to take this opportunity to say congratulations to you. It must be an extremely exciting moment. We want to thank you for inviting us to be a part of your special evening. Take this opportunity to share your aloha to the uh, viewing audience out there from all parts of the world that wants to share their aloha, many of whom are your very, very dear friends. Oh, aloha, everybody. I am so grateful for your viewing, and I'm so grateful for you um, supporting my art career all these years. I couldn't do it without all of you. Thank you so much for being on the ride with me. Earlier in the evening, we had an opportunity to speak to the owner of the Roy Gonzalez Tabora Gallery here at the Kauai Marriott Resort and Beach Club. And we had an opportunity because we caught up with our very dear friend, Chantal Zarbaugh, as she introduced the world-famous artist, Roy Tabora. Chantal, take it away, sister. Aloha. Thank you, Dickie. My name is Chantal Zarbaugh, and I'm here with the great Roy Tabora, and we're going to do a little interview on what he's doing here tonight. Take it away, Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to uh, be with us tonight. Uh, we appreciate that, and, and uh, we're very, very excited. Uh, we're going to um, uh, unveil a project that we've been very, very proud of uh, the last couple of years. Uh, a good friend of mine, a fellow artist, uh, Coco Angel, uh, and I have um, dedicated a couple of years to this project. It was so um, rewarding um, at the at the at the at its worst. It was very rewarding. It was very challenging, of course. Um, but uh, I had been uh, awaiting uh, moments like this to do. Uh, certainly, you have your work as an individual, but when you're able to uh, collaborate with somebody uh, whose work you're a fan of and and who you respect so much as a, as a dear friend, uh, it makes it really really special. 
Um, and uh, so anyway, t tonight's the night. We're happy that you guys can be with us tonight and uh, you can uh, share the experience with us. Um, uh, like I said, I'm very excited and uh, I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of the, uh, the artists that we have that uh, uh, are helping us out tonight. Um, and a couple of them didn't make it uh, because of uh, health reasons, uh, nothing too serious, uh, but they, they will try to make it up uh, uh, as soon as they can. Thank you. This was amazing. I got to interview him earlier and we talked about evolving from before in your younger days and connecting the dots. And what would you give to the audience now as an adult? And what would you say talking about your art now from when you started before? Um, well, um, one of the things that uh, can't be denied is that uh, anything that you, you do a lot, uh, you're going to get good at. Okay, so um, the key is to always hang in there, right? And, um, and uh, the, the journey is uh, challenging, it's tricky. Um, but uh, the, the, the thing was I didn't have a plan B, right? So plan A has to work. And, and that kept me going. And so no matter uh, what kind of challenges that I encounter, um, I, I devoted my time and energy to solving uh, those situations, right? And that's why I kind of don't look at things as problems. I kind of look at things as puzzles because they inherently have solutions. I may not know it right now, but I will find out what it is, right? So that's my attitude going forward. So anyway, the work um, was, uh, you know, in the early days was, uh, primitive and you know it, it showed but you got to get started you got to get That's started excellent. right and um, um, and uh, after all the years I've been a professional for uh, what is it now 38 years um, so I've improved a little and uh, enough that uh, we have uh, made a lot of friends everywhere uh, that um, you know collect the, the work not only my work more importantly they collect my colleagues works uh, we are very, very blessed to have uh, uh, some of the most talented people working in the industry today, uh, today. Uh, and we're very privileged to show their work. So, um, and that includes Coco Angel, right? So, it's good. I hope you guys enjoy the evening tonight, and you know, and, and uh, uh, help us celebrate that the completion of that project. Thank you so much. I'm looking at your painting right here, which you're going to be doing a little bit of of add-ons while we're here tonight. How do you choose your colors? Like what pops out to you to make you want to choose the oranges, the greens, and the the painting that you chose tonight? Okay. Well, uh, there have been uh, different reasons uh, all along. Um, when, when I was doing it as a young man, uh, learning from uh, my uncles, um, I would do it because they would tell me to do it, right? So that's different. Uh, but now, um, I go with uh, what I feel like, right? And because uh, that ensures that the energy I put in there is very, very positive and very excited because I want to do it, right? So that gives me an edge as far as being able to do my best. Um, and and uh, when you're doing your best uh, on something, right, uh, it turns out well. And got, that gets you excited, right? Which makes you in turn do even better, right? And so you basically just... Um, uh, go back and forth. I mean, I have a vision already um, planned out in my head when I first start, and so I just try to uh, transfer that image from my head onto the canvas is what I do. Well, your images are amazing. Your work is amazing. Tonight you're here with so many people that love you and the artists here, especially with, with your unveiling of Coco Angel. It's been such a privilege and an honor to talk to you tonight. Is there anything else you want to say about the people that are here to celebrate this evening? Okay, well, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, for... Uh, being with us and, and uh, sharing this time with us. Um, I, it's a very uh, uh, private thing to uh, allow your, uh, your inner art appreciator or inner artist to uh, gather in a, in a room with uh, like-minded uh, individuals and, and like-spirited individuals. So I hope you uh, uh, seize the moment. Uh, enjoy the evening. Uh, there are so many wonderful people that you can meet and uh, get to meet and get reacquainted with tonight, so take advantage of it. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Chantal Azarba, and I'm here with the world famous Roy Tabora. It's been a very, very big honor to be here. I am enjoying the energy, the glow that you have, and thank you so much for sharing your art with everyone. <laughs> so, um, aloha and welcome to our group show. My name is Ann Wood, and I am the general manager of Tabora Gallery. So thank you all for coming tonight. 
I would like to introduce our artists that we have this evening. Um, first of all, we have the beautiful Coco Angel. Yeah. Yeah. And we have um, the ever dashing Stephen May. Yeah. Aloha. Aloha. And we have um, our newest artist who is a local boy, the artist Pepe. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. And lastly, but certainly not least, um, we have the owner of our gallery, master seascape artist, Roy Gonzalez Tabor. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to turn um, this next part over to Roy, who Whoa. is going to talk a little bit about something they are about to reveal. Oh, uh, okay. Um, okay, I guess I'm, I'm on. All right, well, uh, first of all, thank you everybody for uh, sharing the evening with us. Um, we really appreciate that. Uh, and it's really a privilege for us. Now, you may not hear this very much, but uh, artists um, primarily uh, create, you know. But one of the things that I discovered early was that uh, that was just the beginning of what it is that we were gifted with. And that is that we were able to... Uh, uh, we were given a chance to tap into what it is that you know you hold dear uh, uh, individually in your hearts, and so um, obviously we don't represent everybody, but uh, we hope that uh, our work inspires you in in a way that uh, it can uh, up your game a little bit, right? Um, and but nonetheless, uh, if you just want to be around people, just for the sake of being around, that's good too. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, but uh, we hope that you have a good time, and uh, I want to thank my colleagues for uh, taking the time for, uh, where did they all go? Are they on break already? They're on break already, right? What is this? What is this? We got to go to the meeting. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. But, um, but what, 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 tonight, what we wanted to do was to unveil something that's very, very special to us. Um, Coco Angel and I have known each other for a long time, more than she cares to admit. Uh, but uh, the, the thing is, is that... Uh, She's nervous. She, yeah, she's nervous, yeah. She was duct taped to the wall earlier. Uh, <laughs> but, but what it was is that it was, and, and you've had versions of this in your life. There's certain things that kind of line, all your moving parts line up just so, right? And you happen to be paying attention this time, right? And uh, that was kind of what happened. Um, we were talking about whatever we were talking about, but it ended up where she had, um, uh, said something about wanting to, and I'd always been um, curious about oil painting, and she wanted to, uh, you know, be able to, um, uh, you know, check it out. And I said, well, that's that's awesome. I, I always support, you know, discovering all of what it is that is in that gift, right? Um, and uh, at first, she thought it was watercolors, and, and I thought mine was uh, something else. Um, but <laughs> the the thing was is that, and then she asked me if I would, you know, uh, help her, right? Uh, and it's, of course I would help her, right? Um, so, uh, but that's because I didn't know what she was like to work with. <laughs> <laughs> but as it turned out, I was going to be the, the beneficiary of that thing, right? Because she challenged me a lot, right? Not in the right way. But uh, no, but no, but that upped my game, right? So that was a good thing. Uh, it was a little extra thing that I didn't count on. No, but what, what it was is that we... She wanted to do that, and I'd always wanted to revisit uh, some of the uh, subject matter that I had done in the past. Um, a lot of people know me as a, a seascape painter, but the, the truth of the matter is I enjoy all forms of art in all different types of medium. Um, and, but, you know, it, it is your enthusiasm for, you know, collecting my work that really basically uh, led me down the path that I, I did finally follow, which is uh, I'm very, very grateful for because I love doing the oceanscapes. Uh, they, they, it just uh, has come to represent something better and better in my life as the years went on. But I, that doesn't mean that I really was going to forsake all the other subject matter that I enjoyed along the way. Uh, so this, I said, oh, okay, nice moving part there. This is another moving part. That was lining up nicely. I had a little bit of time. Actually, I had no time, but you know, you can, you can <laughs> yeah, just get, no you gotta make room. You gotta make room, right? You always Feel make room well, yes. for who and what you love, right? Yeah. Right? You do. You do. So, um, so we did that. And the only problem was she lived here, right? So, um, and so, and uh, and uh, logistically, it was just gonna be uh, much more convenient for us. By us, I mean me. That, uh, that she came over for stretches so we can work on it, right? And we did that. So a, a lot of uh, uh, the, the initial efforts uh, were basically 
uh, done by Coco to begin with uh, to make the thing uh, get off the ground. And so that was part of it. And the way we worked is that we didn't really um, divide anything up in the painting. We worked the entire thing ourselves, right? Wherever we needed to do. And, and I wanted to do a collaboration with uh, rules that basically said, ah, there's no rules, right? We want to <laughs> produce something that we believe we can agree that it's, uh, it's a good thing, right? Um, and we basically agreed on, on everything, right? Uh, we were always using, uh, well, okay, that would be great, but we're going for awesome, right? So, you know, so it's, you know, it, it, it was all good, right? There, there wasn't anything that was conflicting or nothing, you know, uh, no drama or anything, so. And um, so that, that was good, and, and so, uh, <laughs> there was some crying. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I believe it's tears of joy. Um, so uh, anyway, uh, we just finished it, and you know what? All told, when we tallied everything up, it was a couple years, you know? Um, because it was just a very difficult thing to um, get a flow on because of, of how uh, far apart we lived from each other. So, but that's all over now, and so we decided on uh, the subject matter that we did, and all the elements in this, in this uh, painting are, are things that we own. So uh, they're very personal, and they uh, have uh, some uh, significance in our lives, some major, some minor, and some in between. Um, we spent uh, a lot of hours uh, putting it together, composing it, something that we both can agree on. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, Coco, you want to? <laughs> <laughs> you, you said you were going to sing a song? Yeah. <laughs> she wrote a song about this. And a whole lot. I just wanted to say thank you so much to Roy Tabora for the opportunity to become an oil painter. Okay. You ready? That's it? Yeah. Uh, and, okay. Is that it? We, we're gonna, are we going to unveil it? Okay. All right. Ready? You grab the...